All right, hello class, and I am going to present uh, the directions for this aesthetic mood board, and I'm going to just walk you through it step by step so that way you know how to get started. Um, so on that Google Slides, you should have that in front of you. Um, pull that up and go to this slide here. This is kind of your blank template. And the directions are first to create a copy of this slide. So you can go to File, Make a Copy, and then you just do Selected Slides. You don't need to make a copy of the whole thing. Um, just, just this slide. So you can say Selected Slides um, and then create the copy of that. Um, I'm just going to keep it on here just to, to give you as an example. Um, I'm actually going to duplicate this slide um, because I have the editing rights. So uh, it says create a copy of the slide. So imagine I did that. Um, and then copy and paste images here. Arrange and resize images how you wish. So if you remember going back to the directions um, for this assignment, you're choosing one color that is your favorite or that you think represents who you are. And all of the images that you choose must be connected to that color. Um, and like I talked about before, there are different types of greens that create different feelings um, or emotions in people depending on their past experience and their culture. So um, for example, if maybe you're going, your plan is to go into the army, maybe you want to choose army green, or maybe your favorite color is like a charcoal black, or it's just like maybe a really dark gray. Um, so you can be very specific. It doesn't have to just be like the color red. Um, maybe it's cherry red. Maybe it's more of like a red orange. Um, and if you have any kind of color blindness, please let me know. Um, I have had experience with that in the past where I've had students who are almost completely colorblind or just struggle with certain colors. So if you know you are colorblind, please just let me know and I can easily work with you on that. Okay, so um, I have a lot of favorite colors, uh, but one of my favorite colors is the color mustard yellow. And I call it mustard yellow because it's more of a darker yellow. It's almost like there's some brown tones in um, mustard yellow. So I'm going to actually just start by typing in mustard yellow into a Google search. I'm going to go to images, and this will give you an idea of, of the color that I'm going for. Um, so the rule is you have to find at least four images. You can do more than that, but at least four is the requirement. Um, so even already right here, here would be a great image that I could use. There's almost like different shades of mustard yellow in there. Um, so it's kind of this darker golden yellow. And the reason why I chose this color is because I feel like it's a very happy color. It makes me happy. Um, I wear this color somewhat frequently. Um, especially in the middle of winter, it gets so dreary for me. I really struggle with winter as a season in general. So it's, it's happiness. It reminds me of summer. It's warm. Um, and I hope that I, you know, at least I think of myself as a warm, happy person for the most part. So mustard yellow is my color. Now I get to find images that kind of represent who I am, um, my interests, my personality. So I just typed in my color and I can start that way just by looking um, for images in that Google search to see if anything really represents me. And actually looking at it, even this one right here, I love to garden. I have lots of plants. I like to keep plants in the classroom when we're in person um, and I had to bring all of them home. So plants are a great one. So I'm going to actually just copy this and you can just, you know, if you're on your phone, hold down and copy it. Um, you just hold down on the image. If you're on a PC or a Chromebook, um, you can often right click um, or just double tap on with two fingers on the trackpad and that will give you the option to just copy it. And then you're going to go back to that slide. Whoops, wrong slide. <laughs> and I'm actually going to delete this text box since I know I don't need it. And just do Control V. And there's my first image. Now at this point, I can resize and adjust as needed to kind of fit things together if I need to. You can crop the image if you want to. So this little crop button here will let you slide these down and crop. Whoops, that didn't work. Grab the little black thing. Yeah, there we go. So you can crop that way, whatever you need to do. Um, but again, at least four images. There's my first image. And now I'll just keep going. So um, maybe I'm going to look for, let's do mustard yellow horse. Oh, cool. It works.
works. Um, so I love horses and I do a horse back riding lesson just about every week. So I'm going to just choose this horse sculpture here because I think that that works really well and aesthetically it's going to go well with my other um, mustard yellow picture. All right. Now I have to think of something else that I like. Hmm. Mustard yellow movie. And sometimes you won't get very good results. Um, oh, actually, this is perfect. Uh, so the movie uh, Dark Dealing Limited is actually one of my favorite movies. And this is um, kind of this weird, um, not weird, but uh, beginning of that movie. And it's a Wes Anderson film. And Wes Anderson loves mustard yellow. If you know any of his um, movies, like The Royal Tenenbaums, um, Fantastic Mr. Fox, um, Dark Dealing Limited, The Life Aquatic. So uh, this is the perfect image. So I'm actually going to copy this. I also really like Natalie Portman as an actress. So that's perfect. So I'm going to go back and paste that because I love movies. I like Wes Anderson. It's It works great. And let's see, what else do I like? I like coffee. I am a huge coffee addict. So I should be able to find some good mustard yellow coffee pictures, whether that's a coffee cup, coffee table. Hmm, let me find a good one here. It's tricky. It's hard to choose sometimes. I might do... I actually kind of like this coffee table and I do like mid-century design and that is definitely this coffee table. So I will right click on that, copy image. All right. And looking at how this is arranged, because you, you also want to consider how it's arranged on the side. I have four images here, but then I also have kind of this weird dead space there. Um, so looking at it, I could probably add at least two more images to kind of balance out on the side. And you'll notice that Google Sides kind of puts the images in where it thinks it will fit. And that's pretty useful for when you're trying to build this. So feel free to just use that. You don't have to adjust much if you don't want to. Um, and then let's see. So next one, mustard yellow. I'm just trying to think of what else I like. Um, I mean, I like so many different things, so it's hard to choose. Uh, let me see. I'm going to do art, I guess. This will be interesting. Ooh, this is fun. And the images you choose can have other colors in there. You just still want to include the color that you chose. So something like this, I could still use that, even though there's aqua blue there, or this one where there's that navy blue. Um, let me see here. Mm -hmm. I might even try and be more specific. So I'm going to say Scandinavian art because I really like Scandinavian folk art. That's one of my favorite styles. Oh, yes. There's kind of some minimalism in there. This one's actually perfect. All right. I'm going to copy that one. And let's see if maybe I can find a landscape one that'll fit right in there. That would be great. All right. So I have plants. Horses, movies, coffee, slash coffee table, slash mid-century design, and then Scandinavian art as another one. Next one, I'm going to say camera. We'll see if this works. Oh, perfect. I love photography. Um, really into that. I do photography on the side. It's kind of a side gig. Um, so I will put a camera in. I just got to decide which one. I kind of like this. This one's like super Warhol. Okay. Yeah, and that fits pretty well. And I might even adjust this if I can make it, well, make it look a little more natural. And I actually will probably crop this because I want it, I need it to be a skinnier landscape image. There we go. Now I can make it bigger. Whoops. All right, that's pretty good. Awesome. So I have, I ended up having six images, which is awesome. And now if we go back to those directions, um, we already copy and pasted, we arranged them. You can delete the text box at any point. And now you're going to go to File, Download, and Save as JPEG. 
Um, it says this side, so just make sure you're on the correct side. So you should be on the side with your image slide with your images. And we're going to do file, download, JPEG image, and it says current slide. And there it is. I'm going to click on it so you can see it. It's now a JPEG, which is an image file type. It looks good to me. And this is what you would upload to Google Classroom. So this is all that's required. Um, as long as you're logged into your school email, you upload this. And it, during our next Google Meets, we will share these, um, or I will share them with the class. And you do not, you're not required to present, you're not required to talk about it or anything. Um, this is a chance for us to get to know each other in a visual way. Uh, so it's really handy um, for those students who maybe are a little too sh just shy or introverted, who don't like to talk about themselves. I totally get it. And so it's a chance to learn about each other. It's a chance for me to learn about you. Um, and it's a great lesson in color schemes and aesthetics, finding things that are aesthetically pleasing that work together. So this is your first assignment, um, and I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to email me, contact me as soon as, soon as possible, um, and I will certainly be willing to help you out. All right, enjoy.